guys, back with another tutorial. Today we will be using Exure to make a zoom and drag function. So what we're going to have is an image. As you roll over it with your mouse, it zooms in. You can drag it around its container and as you roll off, it goes back to its original size. We will also take a look at changing the cursor from an arrow to a hand and then a closed fist as you roll over the image and you click on it to drag it around. Let's go! This is the final product image you roll over it it zooms in and you can click and drag the zoomed in image around the container as you roll off it it goes back into its initial state and also as you can see it goes from um, from the standard arrow cursor to a little hand and as you click it changes it into a fist so it's just a bit clearer for the user that you can grab it and sort of drag it around um, right, let's go and get this bad boy to work in Azure. So to begin with, we just have this image here. It's 550 pixels high. Let's convert it into dynamic panel. Let's make sure that the dynamic panel, panel is uh, the square, just so there's a bit more space for the zoomed in image to be dragged around in. Um, also, I'm going to give it a, just a little border so you can see the difference where the background and where the image is. Obviously, if the image was different background color from uh, from the actual page, you wouldn't need to do this. Anyway, let's jump in into the dynamic, dynamic panel and drag the image right to the middle. Uh, let's change the title to the, of the dynamic panel into IMG and the first state to default. Let's duplicate that, call that zoom. Now grab the image in the zoom state and just so stretch it out to be as, as large as you want it to be. Place it right, here we go, in the middle of the state. Um, so when it goes from default to zoom, the transition is just a bit, a bit more seamless. Rename the image to, let's say, my zoomed. And then right click and create a dynamic panel out of that as well. Let's call that IMG underscore zoomed. So now we need to give it some interactions to tell it that when we roll over it with a mouse, we want it to zoom in and then we go off it, it want, we want it to go back to the default state. So here, let's go into interactions. Let's say on mouse enter, set panel state of IMG to zoom. Let's give it a mouse animation of fading in to 50 milliseconds should be fine. So now as you as you roll over, it's going to zoom in, but it's not going to zoom out as you roll off. So let's change that. Another interaction on mouse exit, we want the set, to set the panel state of IMG to default and same animation. Actually, let's make it a little tiny bit longer. All right, let's check it out. Yeah, nice. Obviously, still can't drag it around, so let's uh, let's give it that interaction as well. With the dynamic panel selected, new interaction, find dragged, and now you want to tell to tell it to move the second dynamic panel that you created. So the IMG zoomed with dragged. Nothing else needs to change. Let's try it out. Here you go. So now the only thing that we need to add is the cursor change because right now it just remains a, an arrow and when you drag it, it changes into a little arrow sort of each way. Um, so the user doesn't really know that you can click and drag it about. Um, and the way you do it is you need to copy this little snippet that I will have underneath the video. And basically what, uh, what it is is um, a little query that's telling it to find a certain layer title and change the cursor into grab and grab is the, the little hand. Okay, so let's copy that, go back to Azure. I want to go in the first dynamic panel and add another action for the mouse enter. Let's select open link, link to external URL, remove whatever is in there and paste that snippet that we just selected. But we need to change the layer title. So if we just click FX there, this layer title needs to be this image, the larger image that's sitting in the IMG zoomed uh, um, dynamic panel. So it's mic zoomed. Oh, I left the L there. Mic 
need. Okay. So now what should happen is as you roll over this, the cursor should change into a hand. Let's check it out. Yep. As you can see, it's a hand, but as you drag it or as you click it around, it doesn't change to the fist. So let's add that. Um, what you want to do tell now, let's just copy that uh, uh, that interaction. Select new interaction and let's say on mouse button down. So we're saying when the mouse button is clicked, we need to change this to grab, but we need to change the grab cursor to grabbing, grabbing. So what it's going to do now is as you roll over it, it will change to hand. You click it, mouse button down, it changes into a fist and then you can sort of drag it around. But we just need to add one more thing. We need to let it uh, tell it to release it as the mouse button is released. So let's copy the first one again. Um, new interaction on mouse button up. So when the button is released, let's paste it here. We were saying when the button is released, we are changing it to grab again. Let's preview it. Zooms in, the cursor is a hand. You click it, it becomes a fist. You drag it around, release it, it's a hand again. Here we are. So basically what we did here is create two dynamic panels. One, the first dynamic panel is just there to zoom in and zoom out. And the second one is to drag it around because you, you can't drag around uh, an image and then added a couple of snippets to tell it to, to change the cursor from the arrow to a uh, grab or hand when you roll over it, then into, into a fist was as you click it and back into the hand as you release it. If, uh, if you know a better way of doing this or a quicker way of doing this, please let me know in the comments. Um, I hope this was easy to follow and helps you out a bit and thanks for watching.